In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the orthogonal vector using vector projection. The question we're answering reads, given the vector u with the x, y, and z components shown here, and the vector a, find the vector component of u along a, and for b, the vector component of u orthogonal to a. Now we've already looked at vector projection in the past. If you look at one of our other videos, we used this formula to calculate vector projection. The difference between this lesson and one of those previous lessons is that we're actually looking for the orthogonal vector. Now in case you're confused by that, let's just draw two vectors u and a on a 2D plane. So this is vector a and this is vector u. So I'll label this u and I'll call this a. Now when you find the vector projection of u onto a, you're actually finding a vector that is the x component of this along a. So that could reach up to here. So that is the projection of u onto a. And that answers question a, which we'll focus on in a moment. But when you're looking for the orthogonal vector, you're actually looking for this vector, the one that's in blue. And that will be the answer for question b. So once again, let's find the vector projection of u along a. We've done this in the past, and we'll use the formula right here. We'll take the dot product of u and a, and that can be done by multiplying and adding the corresponding x, y, and z components. So 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 0 plus 3 times 2. 2 times 1 is 2, that becomes 0, that's 6. This means that the dot product of u and a is 8. According to this formula, we will then find the magnitude of a, in our case that's a, and to find the magnitude, we use the formula one to the power of two plus zero to the power of two plus two to the power of two, all square rooted. This will give us the magnitude of a vector in 3D space. And that's denoted by these two absolute signs. One plus four, that equals five. So we have the square root of five as the magnitude. We'll square this because the formula prompts us to and that gives us five. So, so far we have the top, the bottom, and we have this vector a. So technically we have eight over five being multiplied to the vector one, zero, and two. This gives us eight over five, zero, and 16 over five. This right here represents the vector projection of u along a. Okay, so that answers question a. Question B wants us to find this vector, and that can be done using this formula. Namely, you will subtract the vector u from the projection vector. So for B, we'll take vector u minus the projection of u along A. Vector u, once again, is 2, negative 1, and 3. 2, negative 1, and 3, minus what we just found, 8 over 5, 0, and 16 over 5. Using our calculator, if we subtract 2 minus 8 over 5, we end up with 2 over 5. Negative 1 minus 0, that's negative 1, and 3 minus 16 over 5, that gives us negative one over five. These are the x, y, and z components of this vector drawn in blue. And there you have it. That is how to find the orthogonal vector using vector projection.